Today, we're going to talk about the top loadouts to use on Rebirth Island right now in Season 3. There's been lots of changes to the meta, lots of buffs and nerfs. So we're going to go over what the best long range, close range, and snipers to use are on Rebirth Island. I'm going to talk stats first, and then we'll get into the best loadouts and what guns are best to pair with each other. So let's start with the long range meta. We're over here on truegamedata.com looking at the combined shot location time to kill calculator, and I've got what I believe to be my top four loadouts. So the Amex here in purple leads in close range time to kill uh, and is still near the top at long range and the blue here is the XM4 and has the best long range TTK the XM4 also has the highest damage per magazine or basically how much damage you can do before you have to reload in orange is the Farah the Farah has like very very smooth recoil it's phenomenal for long range and some excellent long range time to kills and if we jump over to chest shot time to kill instead of combined the Farah has a huge lead at range and is just an incredibly underrated gun right now in my opinion and then last thing green here is the automaton the time to kills are a little bit slower with it however it is super easy to use and this is probably your best bet for like a newer to average player because the recoil is just so easy to control and it has 75 rounds so it can put out a lot of damage per mag now briefly there are a few guns i left out and i'm going to just quickly explain why the automaton versus the 50 round stg the automaton in green basically has just better ttk slightly throughout and it has more ammo so in my opinion yes the stg is great the automaton does the same thing with more ammo now what about the vargo so basically the fara in orange and the fargo in pink Farah just is the same thing, but with better TTKs. All of the other stats are nearly identical. And then what about the Cold War AK? Well, the Cold War AK here in the brown, it did get a nerf here in season three, which decreased the time to kill. Basically the Amax is the same thing, just with better time to kills, which is why I left out the Cold War AK. Now let's move over to the close range meta and starting here uh, with the best time to kill here is gonna be the Type 100, which is just ridiculously fast time to kill. The downside to this is it only has 36 round mags and it has like a lot of recoil, so it's a little bit tricky to use at range. Now I've got two different Owen gun builds. The purple is the 60 round uh, and the orange is the 762. Both of these I have running no barrel on though. The wrap barrel did get nerfed and it hurts our uh, recoil quite a bit, so I don't use it anymore. Now the 60 round has amazing TTKs. However, it has a lot of recoil and it's slower shooting, so it's trickier to use. The 762 is very easy to use um, and it has tons of damage per magazine with still a pretty solid time to kill. So this is gonna be your best option for like an aggressive player in quads. Now in the light blue here is the Hipfire Vanguard PPSH, which again has some excellent time to kills and this is definitely our best hip fire option. In green here is the Lapa from Cold War. I think this is the best option for a sniper support as it has really good range time to kills and it has very controllable recoil to use up to mid range for when you don't have your sniper out. And then lastly here, in pink i have the max strafe speed bulk this gun is just incredibly fast a little bit slower time to kills but you can aim walk as fast as you would normally walk and basically it makes people miss shots like crazy and this is just one of the most fun guns to use and people will just they can't hit your shots because of how fast you're moving so i do want to talk about snipers really quick so in the beginning of season three they nerfed the majority of the snipers to where they are no longer have an unlimited range to be one shot headshot uh if you want to be an aggressive sniper i think the mono warfare car 98 is still your best bet but it only has a one shot potential up until about 50 meters which is kind of what most of the other snipers do as well. But the car just has the fastest aim down sight speed and a pretty good uh, damage profile as well. Now, overall, I'm gonna say the king of sniping right now is the ZRG. This thing has just awesome damage, still has pretty fast aim down sight speed, uh, and the bolt velocity is really, really good too. The only big downside to the ZRG is it has a lot of flinch. So if you're scoped in and you get shot, your reticle is gonna bounce around like crazy, whereas the car and Swiss were a lot better in terms of that. The HDR gets like an honorable mention. It's a lot slower and heavier than the ZRG, but you can build it to have some ridiculously fast bullet velocity and it's nearly hit scan on Rebirth Island. And then before someone asked me about the AX-50, the ZRG is literally better in every possible statistical category. All right, so now let's talk loadouts and this isn't gonna be necessarily like a ranking them one through five. It'll be just like the best depending on your type of play style. So the best damage per magazine loadout will be the XM4 with the Owen gun. The XM4, like I said, great TTKs and lots of damage per mag. This is kind of the standard long range Cold War build where we always go agency, the last barrel, field agent or spec script depending on the name, biggest mag, and then the actual arms 3X. Now I always go with the scalpel reticle, which you can unlock this from Cold War Zombies. And uh, basically it's a precision reticle, but with a green dot, I just love this thing. This is my Owen build and there is kind of a pattern when it comes 
comes to the Vanguard gun. So we always go recoil booster because it directly speeds up our TTK. Now they did recently buff Subsonic. Subsonic, what it does is it keeps us off the mini map and there's really no penalties to it anymore. So I go with that since we're not using a silencer. Uh, the rest of this is it has great movement speed. Um, it, we do, I prefer the 762 round with no barrel. TTKs are still solid, but not as great, but you can go with eight millimeter Kurt 60 round for some phenomenal TTKs, but a lot slower shooting and bouncier type of a gun. Now the optic is kind of weird with the Owen because of the mag blocking your right side. Normally I just go with the slate. The NIDAR is good too, or you go with the M38 slate two and a half custom and you toggle to this top optic, which brings the whole gun down and gets that mag out of your view. So next I've got my most versatile loadout, and this is the Amax Volk. So the Amax phenomenal TTKs close and long range. Uh, this is kind of your best bet for long range plus recoil control. I highly recommend going with the Commando over the Merc or Ranger. It only has 45 rounds. However, this is a little bit slower shooting gun. And then specifically for the Amax, I do recommend going with the T Pose Reticle, uh, which you, is, there is, you can look here for the challenges to unlock it. It's easiest done in Modern Warfare multiplayer if you have it though. And then the Volk, this is the Volk Strafe Speed class, um, which this gun is just so much fun. There's a few different ways to build this. It's kind of a weird looking build. Basically between the under barrel, the rear grip, and the stock, this just gives us some insane aim walking speed. Uh, for the barrel, you do have a few different options. I prefer the longer barrel because the only really big penalty is sprint to fire speed, but we run gung ho, which eliminates sprint to fire speed or eliminates having to do sprint to fire. Now the 287 barrel, you can actually make it even faster, but then the range isn't quite as good. So that's just up to you if you want to do that. Um, and then for perk one, you either go gung ho, which is my favorite because you can immediately start shooting while sprinting or you go steady, which allows you to uh, stray speed even faster when you start shooting. Then everybody asked me about the optic. Basically, it's a similar concept to what we did with the Owen. Uh, by switching to the top uh, portion of here, it brings the gun down because the mag is kind of obstructive of your view on the bottom half of your screen. Plus, uh, this actually gives us a wider FOV when we run this top optic versus just running a regular slate for assault rifles. So next I have kind of like the fastest time to kill class. This is specifically with the type 100. This is the fastest time to kill SMG. And this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. Specifically the rapid barrel and the 36 round mag is what does that. Although the 48 still has a very, very good TTK, just not as good as the 36. Now the mobility of this gun is average at best. Um, and like I said, this gun does have a lot of, it's like a wobbly recoil, not so much a vertical. Um, I think gung ho is your best bet here because again, it eliminates your sprint to fire. Although you could also either go sleight of hand if you want to try to use this in trios or quads with the 36 round mag, or you go acrobatic for better movement speed. And then the far class, the far has one of the best long range TTKs. So that's why I included it here. Uh, this is again, kind of your standard cold war long range build. Uh, this gun does have a little bit slower of an aim down sight speed with the 60. So if you were going to run this in solos, which would be perfect with the Type 100, run the 45 round and then you have a much more mobile gun. And the FAR is amazing. Trust me, it's so underrated. And then moving on to my favorite sniper class right now is going to be the Lapa, like I said, from Black Ops Cold War. Um, this now th this has a really bad uh, iron sight, so I recommend going with the microflex. There's two options for the barrel. The rifle actually gives it the best close range time to kill and long range. The compact is a more consistent time to kill where you don't have to rely on getting headshots, but it's got a little bit more recoil and stuff like that. So I like the rifled. Um, and then 50 round is our biggest there. Raider helps us sprint to fire agency for the range. And then the ZRG build, this is definitely my go-to recommended with the sound moderator and not the wrapped. Wrapped will give you a little better bullet velocity, but sound gives us faster aimed on sight. And the bullet velocity on this is still phenomenal and still very fast. Combat best bullet velocity, SWAT best aimed on sight speed. You only start with three rounds on the ZRG, so go with the five and then Serpent helps the most for aimed on sight speed. Yes, you can use the airborne, which helps just a little bit with flinch resistance, but it's still like unusable if you're getting shot at. So I just go with the Serpent. And this is gonna be my easy to use class, which would be great for like a beginner level player, but this is still phenomenal for really any player. Automaton, super smooth recoil, super easy to control. Uh, like I said, 75 round drum is a huge pro. Now, since this is this class has both Vanguard guns, something we can do here is run taped grip, which uh, gives you weapon swap quickness, which is basically like having amped. And so we also put that on our PPSH class. Now for a hip fire build, the fabric grip would be the better option, would have a little bit tighter of a hip fire. And then this is kind of the rest of the build maximizes the hip fire uh, and all that. However, with 
both of these having taped grip, it's like having amped on, and then we can run combat scout and basically have amped at the same time. So I really like pairing Vanguard guns together because of that reason. Now, if you do want to use a car 98 instead of the Z or G, it's still very good. You want to make sure you go with the max range build, which is going to be these two attachments specifically. And then one other kind of honorable mention is if you don't want to run overkill, if you're going to run tempered off rip, the Diamati is absolutely phenomenal and is in close range is basically just as good as many other SMGs. Uh, it is a burst, so it is a little bit trickier to use. I pair this with the M13. There's a lot of different guns you can use. I just think the M13 is super underrated. It's fast firing, low recoil, and actually has very solid TTKs. And like I said, because of not running overkill, I can run tempered. Uh, some other of my perk twos that I recommend is uh, tempered is my favorite. It's the best for aggressive player because it only takes two plates to fully plate instead of three. Restock with snapshots or stems is phenomenal. High alert's really good because it alerts you when people are looking at you and it makes dead silence not work basically. Ghost is still good if, as long as you keep moving, but if you stop moving, you do appear on the minimap now because Ghost was nerfed. And one other thing I want to talk about is I always have these classes on here in case I get my second loadout, and that is basically a tempered class, or like I said, any other perk two that you want to use. So what this is, is this is an automaton that has fully loaded, that way I get full ammo. And then my, this is uh, the Vanguard uh, 1911, I think it is. And this also has fully loaded, so I get full SMG ammo. So I pick this up, bam, full ammo, and then I get my tempered class, and then I I just pick up my guns from my first class back up and bam it's like overkill and temper at the same time so and then i just have one that has amped and one that has combat scout depending on which one i want to run now let me touch briefly here on perks so my number one go-to perk one has been quick fix basically whenever you get a kill or start to plate you're gonna immediately uh regenerate your health and i think that's very useful especially for my play style because i'm very aggressive EOD is probably my next best bet because it significantly reduces uh, damage from explosives. I think double time is okay, but really if you're slide canceling correctly, there's no reason to use double time. They did buff scavenger, so that's an interesting one. Cold blooded is very good for against combat scout, but I think it's more useful on Caldera. Uh, and then perk three, I normally am going amped, if, especially if I'm sniping. Um, but if I'm running, I'll run combat scout uh, because that pings our, our enemies. It's like legal wall hacks, basically. I'll run combat scout when I go two vanguard guns and then run tape grip like i said earlier all right guys so that is my top loadouts let me know what you think let me know if i left something out like i said the meta's in a very good place guns are relatively balanced right now so it's kind of tricky to do this i think i did as good as i can but let me know what you guys think guys if you found the video helpful be sure to leave a like subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss one of these videos and that way you know whenever i go live here on youtube thank you for watching guys we'll see you in the next one